terrifying images of sharks this morning after nearly two dozen sightings off Cape Cod, some just 30 yards from shore. <laughs> In Alabama and South Carolina, apparent sharks seen swimming just feet from the beach. And in California, surfers getting uncomfortably close to what appears to be a large shark. It's massive. Oh, my God. This following a rash of shark attacks of New York's Long Island. At least six people bitten in the last three weeks alone. We are joking about sharks, actually, and then uh, it got me. 16-year-old Max Haynes was surfing off Fire Island with a friend when he was attacked. Jaws clamping down on his foot, leaving a nasty gash. I felt on my foot like a bear trap just get me from below, and it's like hard. It felt like it broke my foot. Experts say the Long Island shark attacks may be explained by a nursery of sand tiger sharks just off the coast and a large school of bait fish they feed on. The sharks mistake the people for uh, the food that they're after. New York's governor now ramping up the use of drones for shark surveillance. If we have a sighting or a potential sighting, we're able to pop that drone up in just a matter of minutes and then make a decision on whether or not we feel it's safe enough to open up the water. While sightings can be scary, experts say in most encounters, sharks often ignore us. We have footage of juvenile white sharks up to eight or nine feet long swimming right underneath surfers who never knew they were there. But many communities not taking any chances, launching extra measures to make sure it's safe to go in the water. And it's not just sharks shaking things up off the coast this summer. In Plymouth, Massachusetts this weekend, a humpback whale caught on camera, breaching the water and landing on a boat. Oh, oh. Authorities reporting there were thankfully no injuries. <laughs> Oh, wow, that video. Uh, so, Kath, you mentioned that sometimes sharks mistake swimmers for prey. So how do we avoid that? Yeah, so that's a great question, Hoda. If you do plan on going out into the water, try not to splash around too much because that could actually attract a shark thinking you are wounded prey. And also, if you're wearing a lot of jewelry, do not go into the water with all that jewelry because the light might reflect off of that bling and be mistaken for fish scales. And the, the last tip uh, that I can pass along, and this is probably an obvious one, try not to go into the water with an opened wound. Um, probably not a good idea. Now, experts say that typically sharks are not attracted to human blood. And once again, we do want to underscore that uh, shark attacks are extremely rare and humans were just not on their menu. Hoda? Okay. All right, Kath. I'm going to remember all those things. Float. Don't flounder around. No don't jewelry. Flounder. And don't be chum. And don't, yeah. yep. <laughs> don't make it. yourself shark chum by going in with uh, a gaping wound. wound. Got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kath. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.